Hey everybody, this is Brandon here from betteratteverything.info. Uh, today's video is part one in my AutoCAD basics series. I'm going to go over a uh, basic layout of AutoCAD, how everything's kind of organized, the different menus, and basically just a quick overview for uh, people who have never used AutoCAD before and are just starting now. So if you look at the screen here, uh, along the top, are all of your buttons. They're in the what's called the ribbon now. Uh, it's similar to Microsoft Office almost where you have various tabs that bring up different menus. Uh, the default is the home tab where you've got creation uh, buttons for uh, basic drawing elements like line, polyline, circle, arc. Uh, you can get into rectangles, ovals, uh, all that kind of stuff. Uh, next up is your modify menu. Uh, this is used to move, copy, stretch, uh, it's basically changing anything that you just drew. Uh, next up you've got layers here. Uh, this is basically for organizing your drawing. Uh, each new element you use that has uh, a different uh, subject than the last, like uh, say you'll have uh, a layer for walls, you'll have a layer for dimensions, you'll have a layer for, I don't know, uh, various notes and text. By the time you uh, get into more advanced drawings, you'll have anywhere from 10 to 100 layers in each drawing just to organize uh, all the elements of your drawing. I'll go over all this stuff, so don't worry. This is just so you know where it is, sort of. Uh, as we progress through the basic series, I'm going to walk you through each of uh, the menus and how to get started in AutoCAD. Uh, next up is the annotation. Uh, that's for text. You can click the down arrows and it brings up more options. Uh, this one is the different uh, textiles and uh, style, um, yeah, different styles and spacing. Uh, next is blocks. This is for inserting pre-made blocks. Uh, you can insert things like trees into site plans or uh, doors. It, that can be anything. You can make custom ones and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, not in the basics series, but probably in uh, either beginners or one of the more advanced ones. Uh, next up is properties. This is where you can change line uh, thickness as well as uh, the line types like um, dashed, uh, solid, hidden, as well as color. Uh, next is groups. That's for grouping various objects together. So when selected, uh, they all get selected. When you move one, they'll move the same. Uh, then you've got utilities, uh, point styles, ID, as well as measurements and then clipboard, which is copy and paste. Uh, in the next one, I'm not going to go over everything for all of these, uh, just quick layout here. Uh, this one is for inserting. This You can insert different drawings, uh, you can insert images, you can insert Excel tables, uh, AutoCAD blocks, title blocks, uh, all kinds of stuff. Next is annotation, and this is where all of the text uh, styling is set up as well as uh, dimensioning, leaders, uh, arrowheads, tables, lots of stuff in this menu. Um, I don't use parametric all that often, but it's for constraints. Um, basically, when you move something, something else will move or match with it, or uh, if something is in relation to another, something like, uh, say, these, you have two uh, holes in a mechanical drawing, two drill holes that need to be uh, 30 millimeters apart. Well, no matter what you do, it'll always keep those 30 millimeters apart, whether you move them to the left, to the right, up, down, uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, we won't go over that for uh, quite a few series. Next up is your view. Uh, this is for moving around your drawing, uh, spinning in 3D, uh, viewing from the front, the back, the side, that kind of stuff. Uh, manage is for customization. Um, different menus that you can create on your own, uh, running scripts that make uh, some tedious jobs a little easier, like, say, getting coordinates from a whole bunch of points. You can just run scripts to do that. Uh, output, this is how you can uh, you can use this to plot um, and print your uh, drawings. Plugins, this is for custom plugins. We'll get over that uh, eventually. Online, this is uh, for sharing your drawings, uploading to uh, FTP sites, servers, um, as well as the AutoCAD online tools. Express tools are just uh, kind of odd little options that have been added over the years. Uh, 
all of them really useful, and I'm glad that they're in here now. Uh, things like arc text. Um, what else you got in here? Break line, uh, line space, attributes, which I'll go over when we uh, create blocks and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of rambling on here a little bit, but that's the basic layout of the the menu and the ribbon in AutoCAD. Uh, along the very top here, you've got the uh, staple commands, or the ones that are on every uh, every program. Basically, you've got new drawing or new new file. By clicking that, you bring up a dialog box where you can pick a template. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is going a bit. You can uh, pick pick a template for your drawing. So I'm gonna just pick the typical ACAD, and it just opens a new drawing with. Uh, all the default settings. I'll go over eventually too how to set up your own default. Um, next one is open a drawing. This opens one of your existing AutoCAD drawings. Then you've got save, save as, and print, as well as uh, undo and redo. Um, under the AutoCAD menu, same things, as well as publish and print and your utilities, which includes settings and options. Along the bottom here, this blue area, which is the only thing I have customized on this one. This is a clean install of 2012 so that I can uh, teach you guys as I set mine up and show you how yours will look when you first set yours up. Uh, the only thing I have changed is the color down here. I don't know why I, I change it to blue and yellow. It's just something I've always done uh, for a few releases now at least. Uh, so right now we're in the model space tab and I'll go over these tabs a little bit more uh, in one of the next parts but Model space is where your drawing's done. This is uh, all done to scale. Uh, it's where all all your uh, line work, all the all the down and dirty drawing and drafting, is done in the model space. When you switch to layout, this is what used to be called paper space. It's I guess it's still called paper space. Um, this is where you set up your title block as well as viewports. This is a viewport, right there. That's a viewport. Double clicking in here allows you to move around in the model space. So you're going to have drawings in here, which you can set up to scales in a viewport with your title block around it. Uh, no drawings done in the paper space, uh, just text, notes, that kind of stuff, uh, arranging viewports and setting up your title block. Uh, layout 2 is just another one. You can create and rename all of yours by right clicking. Uh, you can rename it to drawing one or whatever you want, as well as uh, plotting from in here. So you just hit plot, which is print, same thing. Pick your printer, all your settings, and hit OK. Um, what else do you need to know? Uh, down here are the quick commands for various selections and snap modes. Uh, these I'll go over later, uh, but they are down here, so when I refer to them later, you'll know. Uh, over here, same thing. I'll refer to these uh, as we go. Um, but that's the basic layout of AutoCAD. Uh, if you got any questions, as always, comment on here or visit the website at betteratteverything.info. Um, if not, uh, head on over to part two for the next lesson. Thanks for watching.